Hello everyone, as you can see we, had a, we have another Star Wars The Black Series figure in front of us. This time it is the Target exclusive Din Djarin, also known as the Mandalorian, and the Child. You might notice that we have some special things in this package. Um, we have the Pram, uh, I feel very proper English saying that. Um, we have the tracking device, and then we also have some pieces of Beskar as well. Um, we have the rifle, which we've already had before. We have the child, which we had before. Um, I don't believe this is as good as the other child that we have. We, ha we have the jetpack. Uh, we have the blaster. But what's special about this din is the fact that his helmet is going to come off as well. So I'm looking forward to taking a look at that. With all that being said, uh, I had actually reserved myself to the fact that I probably was not going to be getting this figure. Only because it was a target um, exclusive and I was not and I tried ordering it on the pre-release day and I wasn't able to get it and then weeks after it was officially released I wasn't able to find it either but on Twitter some people had announced that it was up on order again for Target and I placed my order right away and there we go um, and just one other thing of note too which I don't know if you guys know um, Target has a uh, I think it's a $35 a minimum for free shipping and this guy was less than $35. So all you have to do is add a Target gift, physical Target gift card and it puts you over that limit and you get this plus that Target gift card. So just a little hint there. All right. So anyways, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a closer look at this figure. We're going to go, or figures, I should say, and accessories. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the outside of the box. Then we're going to go ahead and unbox them and then take a look at articulation, take some pictures and go from there. I did want to note as well, if you have any questions as we're going through this, please feel free to ask down below. If you're liking the figure, give it a thumbs up. All right. So, um, yeah. So this is Din Djarin. You can see right underneath there, you can see his face. So, again, looking forward to taking off the helmet. We've got the, uh, the side image here. And then on the back, we have the Mandalorian is a battle-worn and tight-lipped. A formidable bounty hunter in an increasingly dangerous galaxy who finds a mysterious alien pursued by bounty hunters on behalf of Imperial interests. And this is number five. And then on the side, and that's that. So let's go ahead and unbox. And as we do, we go from the bottom. There's a lot in this box, so <clears throat> kind of curious to see what we have here. I think the easiest to get out is going to be the rifle to start with. Looks very similar to the rifles we've seen. Got our blaster, jetpack, child. Ooh. Those guys are in with some tape, so we'll come back. Got Mandalorian there. Got the pram. Gotta be very careful taking this guy out. Hope that comes back together. Um, <laughs> whoopsies. Let's go ahead and get this best car and that. All right, so I'll be right back. We'll go ahead and get things cleaned up and we'll take a closer look at what we have. All right, so we got everything unboxed. As you can see, we've got the actual figures here. Um, and then for comparison here, we've got the standalone child or Grogu. And then we've got the normal uh, Beskar version of Din uh, with the helmet that does not come off. So I thought it'd be good to go ahead and compare that. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories. Uh, so the tracker see here i think this is pretty cool i'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like with him holding on to it i think this is a good representation so i can't complain about that um and then we've got the best car which is freaking tiny uh which you know you'd expect that um and you can kind of see the imperial symbol right there uh and we have five of these pieces of best car uh so it's pretty cool but they are tiny. <laughs> All right. Uh, then we got the pram. Uh, so the pram is very cool. I'm glad that we finally have one of these from 
the Black Series. Um, and this piece here just comes right off. Uh, this piece, though, once it's off, you, you're not going to be putting it anywhere. Um, so the only other choice is to put it right back on top. And the pram does come off, as you saw when I was unboxing it. It just goes right in that peg. You're not going to get any uh, movement or anything on that. That's basically all you get. Um, and then you've got the jetpack. It's the jetpack. We'll go ahead and compare it to the other one, though, uh, just to see how that is. Uh, the rifle and the blaster are exactly the same as the other ones. So let's go ahead and take a look at the child. So we're going to have very little articulation on this. The arms don't move. This hand does have a little left and right and up and down movement. And same with the other one. The head, that's, you're not going to get any articulation. So that's, that's really it. And that's compared to the standalone, which is in this hand. Heads are definitely different. So this one, the arms move uh, and the head moves as well. So, yeah, that being said, this arm on mine keeps falling off. So, eh, not such a bad deal. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at him inside the pram. There you go. Let's focus on that. And he will hopefully fit inside of there as well. Maybe. <laughs> Might have to do some moving around. Uh, and that's that. All right. So, with all that being said, we have the Mandalorian here. Let's go ahead and unmask him. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. There we go. So, that is the flat face everybody has been complaining about <laughs> on social media. I don't think it's that bad. I really don't. I mean, it could be so much worse. So, let's take a look at head movement, um, articulation, good tilts, good up down, do the full 360. Arms, I think, I mean, for the most part, this is going to be exactly the same as the other Mandalorian. I mean, you even have the mud horn emblem here. Let's put that on. Actually, take that off. There we go. So first, let's take a look at the jetpacks. I mean, they're essentially the same. Maybe if we get some focus. They really are very close. If we take a closer look here, get everything in focus. I mean, these are the same figures, which you'd expect them to be. I mean, right down to the... <clears throat> the paint here, which is the exact same as the other one as well. So not complaining. Um, I like the fact that this one, the helmet will come off. Um, but other than that, it's exactly the same figure again, as you would expect. All right. Anyways, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. If you're liking the video, give it a thumbs up. All right. So now let's go ahead and take some pictures and we'll be right back talking about maybe some of the things that we learned, some of the things that we like and or don't like about the figures.
right, so I think that was a really good look at the figure. Uh, like I said, he's very similar to the Beskar Mandalorian we've already seen. Uh, nice things, though, in this is the fact that we do get the Pram, we do get the Beskar, we do get the, the Tracker, and Din's helmet comes off. All of that being said, I would not have been that upset if I hadn't already, if I wasn't able to obtain uh, this, uh, this set from Target. I mean, it was, like I said, it was really hard for me to find. I don't know why uh, Hasbro continues to have exclusives at different places, but they do. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, I mean, I think actually I really like the tracker and I really like the pram. I think that's super cool. My only disappointment really with the pram is that like, it would have been nice had this part slid up or done something like that. Uh, that being said, I know this would have been much more expensive had it been a moving part like that. Um, you know, overall, because of all the, um, the accessories that come with this, I'm actually surprised it wasn't more expensive than it was. Uh, but there we go. So anyways, um, other than that, I mean, I, I like the fact that the helmet comes off. I don't think Din looks that bad. I mean, everybody was freaking out about how bad his face looked. I don't think it's, it, personally, I don't think it's that bad. But if you do, feel free to comment down below. And if you don't, let me know as well. Um, so anyways, yeah, with that, I think we've had a good look at the figure. If you have any questions, ask down below. Uh, oh, yeah, Grogu. This Grogu is not as good as the other one, in my personal opinion. Although the head is better on this one. Anyways, um, so with that, like I said, if you have any questions, ask down below. If you like the 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 video, not necessarily the figure, uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, with that, if you do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do a lot of things on the channel that are Star Wars and Star Wars The Black Series related, but we do other things as well that a professional geek might find interesting. And me, myself, being a professional geek, I like to share things that interest me. Um, so that could be going to theme parks, could be Star Wars related, could be home automation, electronics, how-tos, just things that I interest me or maybe I didn't know about that I thought I'd share with you guys. So uh, if that interests you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a great day.